Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Friday edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast, recapping day one of the NFL draft, the first round of the draft where the Browns, as expected, did nothing. Uh, they are still about 40 picks away from going on the clock. The Pittsburgh Steelers actually get to open up day two of the draft as of now, as of this recording. Mary Kay, what should the Browns do? What do the Browns need to do on Friday night? Well, you know, the more I thought about you know, when I watched this first round, it really did make me uh, feel like they they really do need to add another weapon for Deshaun or another pass rusher. That, that Those are two things that I really think that they should focus on as early as they can, because you would like to, if you can, uh, try to bring in a player at those, at one of those positions or both of those positions in the third round, maybe if you can, uh, that can make a difference on your offense or your defense. Um, I still think that they have a ways to go in those two areas and they just can't stop. And I think that, you know, that tonight showed that the good teams are really stocking up in those areas. Ashley, what about you? Yeah, to build off of that, because I definitely think those two positional needs are are still needs for the Browns. Like, after watching the way this first round played out, I know I talked about this yesterday, but I would still be in favor of them, you know, trying to package up some later or mid round picks and moving up into the second round. If there is somebody they really like that they think could be a difference maker, because of course, like you can get eight guys in there the way things stand now. But I just think if there's somebody they think that could really help Jim Schwartz on defense or is really good in the scramble drill and offense and might be a good target for Deshaun Watson that has something a little different. Like I think there's no harm in being aggressive because of how many later picks they have in this draft. I agree with you. And Mary Kay, I'm assuming you would agree with this too. I just, I don't want them to wait three hours to make their pick tomorrow. I want them to identify a couple of players. And I, yeah, I'm sure they have players they have identified, but I want them to be aggressive and figure out a way to go get those players. If it, you know, if somebody's fallen into the fifties or, you know, sixties, like go get a guy. Don't just sit and, and let the draft come to you. Go be aggressive and, and go make something happen because they have that day three draft capital to move up and, and probably get somebody if they really want them. Yeah, they can do that. And we know that, um, that Andrew Barry, he's very aggressive in player acquisition. So if they do see somebody that has that kind of value, then, you know, they won't hesitate to go up and try to grab him. The other thing for them is I think that, um, you know, they're so thorough in their player evaluation that, you know, I think they are going to count on the fact that some players that they have with a second round grade are just going to trickle right down to them at, you know, number 74 or somewhere close to there and that they won't actually have to give up, give up picks to get one of those guys. So, um, you know, there are several different schools of thought, but no matter how you slice it, you know, we do know by now that Andrew is very, very aggressive. I mean, look, he added a dozen players in free agency. Okay, there we go. Uh, Round one of the NFL draft in the books. Of course, the biggest news of the day, Lamar Jackson staying in Baltimore. Uh, We'll be back uh, on Friday at some point. uh, It'll probably be on Saturday at some point, recapping day two of the NFL draft. And then, of course, uh, we'll give you all sorts of great drafts coverage. Cleveland.com slash Browns, the blue banner at the top of the page to become a football insider subscriber to get texts. Uh, newsletter, access to stories on cleveland.com slash Browns that have that uh, paywall. You can get access to those. Again, cleveland.com slash Browns, the blue banner at the top of the page. And get subscribed to Orange Brown Talk. If you're not already, just search for us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. For Mary Kay and Ashley, I'm Dan. Thanks for listening, everybody.